Hi, uh, this is just a quick sort of um, response to uh, Two Turtles 100 Subs contest about imaginary box sets. And first off, um, an album which I'd like to see is a sort of deluxe box set. And that would obviously be Live 1969 by uh, The Velvet Underground. Very good live record. The, the material on it sort of evolves from the the album versions. Uh, there's a 10 minute version of Heroin on there which, which is absolutely brilliant. But the thing is this this record was when it was released on CD it was actually taken from vinyl copies. Um, I know that some of the the um, source of these recordings are acetates but um, I was thinking that maybe that Universal they could do some sort of uh, digital sort of wizardry on it to um, sort of bring it into the 21st century. Um, and also the, the two albums, or the double album was actually sort of culled from two sets. So I was thinking, why don't sort of Universal do a deluxe edition where the, you have both the sets in full? Or maybe actually sort of do a a sort of expanded version on vinyl, maybe, um, I mean, the original vinyl sort of crams quite a lot onto the sort of individual sides of the album. I mean, it, some sides of it contain sort of 25 minutes of music. So if they could sort of do a, maybe expand it to four LPs or something, I'd really be interested in it. Um, but I haven't actually bought any of the recent big sort of deluxe editions. I really want to get white light, white heat, but unfortunately it's, it's too overpriced just to get the mono version. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see a reissue of this. In, in many ways it's better than the the last two solo albums this live release. And a box set of an artist. Um, uh, I would like to see a box set of Etta James. Um, particularly her work that she did for um, chess records uh, between the years, I believe it's 1960 to 1974, I think. I could be wrong. I mean, this album was released in, this was her first one, uh, 1961, I think, 1960. I mean, her... Her back catalogue on chess has been rather sort of badly treated. A lot of it's gone out of print and a lot of the releases are like these sort of um, on fly by night uh, companies. And to be honest, the sound quality on this isn't bad. In fact, it's better than the, the remastered version. But yeah, I'd like to see a box set with um, her albums in mono, um, be it CD or vinyl. Um, and all her albums from there's fourteen stu well thirteen studio albums in one live album, um, up to nineteen seventy five I think it is. I mean th that's her sort of her best work is in the, between those years. Really good stuff. In in chunks of it's out out of print. Are very expensive to get on vinyl. So yeah, that'd be something like eight CDs, nine CDs. And fourteen vinyl records, yeah. And if you want extras, you probably have to sort of shift them onto the onto a bonus disc or something like that. If you talk about CDs, but yeah, that that would be my ideal box set. Etta James, a complete chess record albums, nineteen sixty to nineteen seventy five. Um. But surely I was thinking the Universal could, I mean they did, Universal have got a sort of really good sort of reissue on their their answer to um, Rhino called uh, Hippo and um, they did a sort of massive sort of limited, they they do limited editions of Motown stuff, they, they've done a real good job of doing that and they did sort of a complete Buddy Holly box set which I really wanted to get but unfortunately by the time I had enough money for it it was out of print. Um, and um, 
they, they should really sort of be allowed to work wonders with Etta James' back catalogue because um, I don't, not really keen on sort of buying stuff from Fly By Night people. They're just making, they're just making use of loopholes in the in copyright law. Um, but really, a, a a sort of an official box set that's done right would be uh, my kind of thing. Okay, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.